walked in. There she was, and family was there with her. And I sat down, and it wasn't planned in my mind. It was almost like the family disappeared, and I just had a chance to visit with a woman that I've learned to admire and respect deeply. We talked about life and illness, what she was feeling. I asked her to imagine in her mind a scene from the Passion of the Christ where there was a thief who was good alongside of Jesus who felt trapped helpless in pain. By turning his head just a bit, he could see another man trapped, helpless, and in pain. That other man's name was Jesus Christ. And I just said, what you have, what you're experiencing, is not fair. It certainly is not God's will. But when you feel, especially, maybe in the middle of the night, and the lights are off, and you feel very trapped and very hopeless, turn your head just a bit, if not physically, at least in your heart, and see the man alongside of you. And just say, Jesus, let's go through this together. And I said, by you joining your experience to his, you turn this unfairness, this disease, into a powerful blessing for many people. You merge, I said, I want you to know the truth. Sitting with you, blessed me far more. And I blessed you.